In the currency quadrant, we had a positive day in the euro today, up about 35 basis points, a little bit more than a quarter of a percent. And it wasn't the day that really mattered. The euro finished its first positive week in the last four. And that was really uh, interesting considering how dovish Mario Draghi was this week. Data next week for the euro is going to matter quite a bit. There's some key data both in Germany and in the EU. Lately, the EU slowing is uh, really on the minds of everyone, including the EU Central Bank. If you looked at the press conference last week, when the, uh, or early this week, I should say, when the uh, European Central Bank left rates alone, talked about downside risks, talked about tariff threats from the US president on Europe as well as on the rest of the world, that's something that we have to look at going forward. Is there going to be a US-EU trade deal as was so optimistically announced about six months ago, there's been no discussion, but that data that we've got this week could decide the direction for the week as we finished this positive week last week. Again, when you're looking at it, you're looking at PMIs, EW, CPIs, both in Europe and in Germany, the key ec economy for the European currency. And then the dollar was weak as well. The dollar finished its first negative week in the last four, getting down below a technical pattern that could see the dollar index move about 30 cents lower than it already did, going below 97, hitting the low 90s today, 96, 91 or so. It could extend a little bit more, 30 cents from there, which would help the euro continue on a little bit of an uptrend.